So Kamala once threatened to jail oil executives. The reason why I want to bring this up and do a hard transition is because we got to get into the interview from last night, because if you didn't see it, we have the full interview uh, uploaded. Uh, the full interview from last night. Oh, God, it was fun. You guys, the, the crazy things that she was saying and what was even more astonishing before we jump into this article was the idea that you look on conservative and Republican media and what was being stated was this whole idea that Kamala Harris came out of that interview yesterday. They said that she won. And I'm sitting there going like, did you not watch her just get slapped around by Brett the entire time? She could not answer any questions. So she's going to say all those things during the interview, which we'll get to. Don't worry, folks. Buckle up, baby, because we got it all for you. They need to pay the price, she said. So Vice President Kamala Harris threatened to prosecute fossil fuel executives during her failed 2020 presidential election. You're going to go after people you don't like. He's going to start putting people in camps. He's going to start jailing people. Remember how she's continued this whole charade now for like two weeks because she's spazzing out because she's getting her ass kicked right now. He's going to sit there and start executing people in the streets. That's an exact quote from Joe Scarborough right now from Morning Joe. Yeah, so let me do it in a normal voice because, well, sometimes it's hard to understand. Joe Scarborough came out on Morning Joe, his show on MSNBC, I believe it is, and said that Donald Trump is going to start executing people in the streets if he's elected. You're going to look like idiots uh, because he will do, he will get away with, he will imprison, he will execute whoever he's allowed to imprison execute uh, 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 drive from the country. He's a threat to democracy. He's going to end the republic. As the Democrat Party's trying to chisel away at your First Amendment rights, <laughs> like, right, trying to put forth the Ministry of Truth. This is some like George Orwell 1984 shit. Yeah. They're trying to sit there and chisel away at your Second Amendment. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. sure. They want to sit there and uh, basically suppress the your vote in a way that you're going to allow illegal immigrants to vote to offset your vote, which is suppressing your vote. But remember, we can't show IDs, you guys, in some places. It's illegal. It's wrong. CNN reported that Harris told voters at a November 2019 town hall in South Carolina that oil companies and fossil fuel companies should be really prepared to look at a serious fine or be charged with a crime for their role in what left this claim as the climate crisis. Is it remarkable that we're all looking around? The weather's pretty good for the most part. I understand there was a couple hurricanes. There always is hurricanes. Um, and I'm not diminishing what happened with those hurricanes, by the way, because the left likes to take everything out of context because you have to explain everything to them because they're idiots. Um, they like to call climate crisis, but what's happening at our southern border is still a situation and a problem. If you watch yesterday's interview, uh, she would not admit that, by the way. She would not admit that it's a crisis. Eh, we're, we're, we'll try to get it under control. Uh, it's just a situation. It's a challenge. We'll try to figure it out. We're just in a transition phase. I added a lot of what she didn't say. But I added in what a lot of the Democrats, specifically Joe Biden, Jen Psaki, and Karine Jean-Pierre have said for the last 3.5 years. Here's that clip. Tonight, Governor Tim Walz cheering on the U.S. oil industry. America's producing more natural gas and more oil than at any time in our history. Which echoes the same message that we've been hearing from Kamala Harris recently. We have had the largest increase in domestic oil production in history because of an approach that recognizes that we cannot over rely on foreign oil. But as our K-File reports tonight, this is a very sharp turn from where Harris once stood on this issue not so very long ago. And K-File's Andrew Kaczynski is out front. So, Andrew, um, pounding the table for the U.S. oil industry and oil production, um, but not the way it always was. What did you find? Yeah, that's right, Aaron. And this really shows uh, sort of just how far left that Kamala Harris got in that 2019 Democratic primary when she was running with Bernie Sanders. Yeah, this is CNN saying this, by the way. Things are not looking good for Kamala. This is CNN coming out and exposing her, saying, yeah, she did a sharp turn on this one. And Elizabeth yeah. Warren, uh, she was making this extremely bold promise that she was going to take uh, the U.S. oil industry, possibly criminally prosecute them for their role in climate change, she compared it to big tobacco, saying they knew the effects of climate change, uh, but they hid it from the public. Now we saw there, fast forward to 2024, what are her and Tim Walls doing? They are touting the record domestic oil production from those same 
oil companies during the Biden Harris administration. And well, how big of a shift is this? Well, take a listen to just one of those comments from 2019. Will you order your Justice Department and your Attorney General to investigate Chevron and Shell companies for their part in the and their damage to our planet in this climate crisis. I'm saying about these big oil companies and these fossil fuel companies, look, you should be really prepared to look at a serious fine or be charged with a crime. And they need to pay the price. So yes is the answer. And that's very different from obviously what we played uh, in the intro here, but that was not the only time she made comments like this. This was very much a theme for her. Take a listen to a few other comments that she made in 2019. I took on big oil companies and won. We've taken on the big oil companies who are polluting. I took on oil companies who are polluting our environments. All right, obviously that is extremely different. God, if you see her from 2019, just like five years later till now, what happened to her? Tell you what happened to her, the Democrat Party, man. They, uh, don't, if you want to sit there and stay and look youthful and vibrant and pretty, you got to be Republican, man, or conservative. Because uh, look what, uh, I mean, look at any Democrat, Nancy Pelosi's caked on. I mean, her face is plastic at this point. I swear she's smiling probably 90% of the time, but she doesn't look like it. She's like, eh, eh. Uh, you look at Joe Biden, that poor guy, uh, he's gone. I mean, Joe Biden. Joe, they did they did so much damage to Joe that Joe just can't even walk upstairs anymore. He's seeing dead people. I mean, that's what the Democrat Party does to you. Look at Bill Clinton. You got Trump coming out there. I love America. Trump's like fine, right? Looking actually pretty good. He slimmed down a little bit. He's like looking fine. Joe's crippled. Bill's crippled. Kamala Harris is looking disheveled. <laughs> uh, than what she is presenting right now. But this isn't the only thing that she's flipped on that you found and you found a lot of other inconsistencies. Yeah, she's flip-flopped on a lot of issues related uh, to energy. Take a look at just a few of them. She said she was going to uh, ban plastic straws. She said she was going to ban fracking. We have heard a lot about that. Uh, and she said she would eliminate the filibuster to pass the uh, past the Green New Deal. Now, she also ran Facebook ads during that campaign, which were touting her support for the Green New Deal, which were saying that she was going to. I, I, I'm not kidding you guys. Let me know in the chat. If you closed your eyes, if you closed your eyes, would you believe that this is CNN? Me personally, no. I, I would be like, okay, may, maybe, maybe not Fox, no way in hell. Like, one America News Network, uh, Right Side Broadcasting Network. I would not think this is CNN. We got to give credit where credit is due. They're actually doing their job. I can watch CNN right now. This is good. You're calling her out. And by the way, they're not being like crazy about it. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, this is what she said. Take on uh, big oil to uh, stop uh, for their role in contributing to climate change. And now why uh, is she doing this, Aaron? Well, a recent poll uh, that came out from from Gallup actually shows that climate change ranks uh, as the second least important issue to voters uh, in that poll. And obviously, Pennsylvania, where we're seeing a lot. There you go. So he explains, hey, why are they doing this? Because she got a poll number. She realized that, oh, God, Americans aren't with me on this one. I got to change the script. Yeah, because you suck at your job. You haven't been doing what American people wanted for a long time. And for some ungodly reason, there's people showing up in the millions to vote for this lady. The million. And still, allegedly, according to the polls, which I don't know if I believe in. It's 50-50. It's 50-50. So let's get into yesterday's interview, baby, with Brett Byer. Now, if you didn't see it, I did link it. I did link the full interview in the chat, but you can also just go to our video catalog. We did it live yesterday. Uh, Jeff said, uh, just remember, we still can't give them a pass. They aren't journalists. I, like, I, I'm just saying there's a little, we hound them all the time, right? We just, in that moment, we got to give credit where credit's due, Okay. Yes, but if you look holistically, they're trash. They're not trustworthy. But I like to still, if I can find something positive to say about those that frustrate the hell out of me, like CNN, like the Democrats, like Joe Biden, you know, I like to at least throw a little bit of positivity out there because you got to admit, we go hard on the Democrats. We go hard. And I like to play a little bit fair, a little bit fair. You want to know who doesn't play fair? Again, Democrats. They cheat. They lie. They steal the elections. Um, well, there goes YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is. Go over to Rumble then. We've had enough. We can't take it anymore. We're not going to take it anymore. You're fired. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here.